All right, this is going to be stage five for the all stages route in Wizards and Warriors. Um, this is where the big difference between any percent and all stages happens at. Uh, after we've gotten the axe in this playthrough um, from stage three, uh, stage four is the same, but then we get to here and the route is completely different. Uh, because in any percent, you use this level to go back into the first level to uh, complete the game by going through the first three levels again based on how many damsels you save. Uh, in this case, like I said, we're going to be going through all stages, hence the category name. So immediately, rather than jumping like we would in uh, any percent, we're actually going to come down here to the right corner, and there's a hidden block right here. It's got 15 gems in it. This is very important, uh, because there's actually a glitch we're going to do with this. If you leave one gem still within that block and then scroll the block off screen, it'll reset how many gems are actually still in that block. So I can use this to gain all the gems that I need in this level uh, very, very quickly. Uh, so we'll start that once more. We're going to go to the right. We're going to count 14. Thirteen, fourteen. We're gonna levitate up, jump, and then do a full jump here. That's gonna scroll that spot off screen, and we're gonna do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then we're gonna do it once more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm gonna grab all fifteen on the third one. So we're gonna do this three times, but you're gonna gra actually grab the 15th one on the third attempt. Um, so at this point you should have around 42 gems or so. Um, so somewhere around there, because I did get a, uh, a couple of gems there from drops from the spiders, uh, which may happen. But anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. You're gonna do it three times, and just make sure the first two times you leave one gem in that block, and then the last time you're actually going to grab all 15 of them. Uh, so after that, I'm going to make a safe state here. Uh, it's going to be a different climb through the tree. Because we're going to still collect more gems as we go. So I'm going to levitate here. Levitate once more to go to the left. And then up to the left again. Jump right. Go to the left. This so far is going to be the same as uh, any percent. Just like that. So let me do that once more. Go down. So we're going to levitate up. One, two, three. Jump right. Levitate to the left. Left. Levitate to the right. And then we're going to grab uh, this gem that's right here with our throwing weapon, in this case the axe, and then jump up to this here. You may need to use the feather to make that jump. Then you'll go left, right. You're going to face left to jump up and grab that. And you're going to do so one levitate jump, two, three, four levitate jumps going up to the left then we're going to jump right or left right and here we're actually going to grab a hidden block that has five gems in it so one two three four five we're going to jump to the right levitate jump up to the left back to the right levitate again left levitate again to the right grab this gem with the throwing weapon levitate straight up then go to the right with a full jump so that you uh, make sure that you get a hidden block that's right above me. Um, if you don't get it with a full jump, sometimes you'll end up despawning the block and you'll have to go back down a ways in order to uh, get the block to appear. So this one's going to have 10 gems in it and I'm going to get all of them. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Levitate, grab that gem on the way up. Do the same with uh, this one here. And then we go up to the door, and depending on what door lock you get, you know, you may be in or out of it very quickly. So you're going to have around, you know, 93 gems or something like that, depending on what drops you may have gotten uh, within the level. At this point, we're going to run over to the left. We're going to see these gems and jump up towards the pink guy. We're going to levitate up to this tree branch, levitate upward again. Go to the left, we're going to grab a key that's right here, but it's actually not important. We just need to get use it to get height of uh, that spot. Um, so you do that again just by doing a damage boost like you would, you've would you done before throughout the run at this point. Now you're going to go up, levitate up, 
then you're gonna jump left to grab this blue key. All you need is 100 gems for this level, so at this point I have all the gems that I need. If you are missing some gems still, say you got 99 or 98, there is a gem right there that you can pick up to uh, use as a backup. Uh, so I'm gonna do that once more, see if I can't get it through with more health. There's also that gem there that you can pick up. So you're gonna have to wait for an enemy to come by. We're gonna jump up, up, go to the left to grab the blue key. I already have the gems that I need, so I'm gonna go down and then float down to the door. Okay, so inside here is another boss, uh, obviously. We are gonna fight the spider boss. This one's a little bit different because you can't really kick him to death immediately, uh, like you can any of the other bosses. You'll end up taking damage too fast for that. Uh, and then getting a dizzy animation for it. So instead, this is one of the reasons why we end up getting the axe. This is one of the couple of bosses that the axe is really useful on. So I'm going to buffer uh, an axe throw. I'm going to hold B as I go in. And that's going to throw it immediately. Um, now what we're looking for is after it comes back, we're going to try and hit him as many times as possible before he goes up on us. Something like that. Sometimes you can hit him again. Um, I missed him on that time, but that's all right. You know, it just kind of depends on how the axe uh, works for you on that particular one. All right, I'm gonna run to the right now. Um, I got to watch this one. It's a little hard to explain this boss uh, with that. So mostly you're gonna be hitting him with the axe. Um, if you're low on health, you can just run over to the door after you've done the first cycle. Er, and then uh, throw the axe back at him again. Um, or you can do it like this. So I'm going to do the first bit like we did before with the axe. I'm going to take damage in the air and then start kicking him. Now that did a lot more damage quicker. Uh, because once I took damage in the air, I wasn't able to get the dizzy animation like I would have been on the ground. Uh, and so if I go in and I take damage, you know, I'll just immediately be in the dizzy animation. But if I do that in the air, instead, then I can just turn around and start kicking him a And then he dies a lot faster that way, if you, as you can see. Um, so just whichever fight you find more comfortable, if you just want to use the axe, run across the stage a few times and throw it at him. Um, but if you can... That is definitely the fastest way to do it, is to jump up into him and then uh, kick him once you get back down to the ground. And then that ends stage five for all stages.